here at Jumpin' Jack picking up uh, the new blackout little mini trailer. Got the wheels to match the Toyota. And we're gonna show us how to set this one up. So, what's the actual specific model of this one called on the website? Uh, the 4x6. 4x6. So, got the 4x6 blackout, and it sets up a little bit different than the regular trailers like we've got right now. So, I'm gonna go through a walkthrough real quick and uh, show us how it's done. From the beginning, I mean, it's, it's all the same. Just one wing out, the other on the other side. Now, on the typical trailers, the, the larger ones, the front gate becomes a table. On this particular model, um, the front gate extends one of the beds to be much bigger. So we're going to use that in just a minute. Now you'll want to roll your bag up. I like to keep it as neat as possible. You're a lot better at that than I am. I always just throw mine over the front and it ends up filling up with water every time it rains. So if you do that, the tent has a flap that'll kind of keep the water off of that. Moving my trailer on me. Yeah. <laughs> that tent and just like the large ones the setup is the same the thing that's going to be different is the tear down oh, okay so pull it towards yourself front end goes down that pops the back end up you then just step up with that back end with that front end now this piece that we talked about earlier is going to slide in slide in here there is a little slot for the tab to slide right into, oh, okay. locks into place, and that's gonna give us an extra 12 inches or so on that bed. Perfect. I'll make Garrett sleep on the short side. Now strap down your sides. As a general rule, you do want the canvas to be all the way down to the side of the trailer. Right on the edge right here. Yep, yep. you don't want any of that uh, vinyl showing. This strap is extra long, so you're going to go all the way around to the actual wing. Okay. That's also going to kind of help the um, front gate piece to stay on there. This one will just go down to the tailgate itself. Now, on the interior, you have one small bed on this side here. Still six feet long, so plenty of space for one guy. Perfect. Oh, that's gonna totally mess Garrett up because I always sleep on this side <laughs> and he always sleeps on that side, but now I'm gonna have to make him move to this side. This one's the big one. So just like our newer style large trailers, it comes with what we call a half bed extension. This half bed extension is a little bit longer, but it slips right down into this position right here, locks into place, and then that is where all our pads are gonna set up. Velcro everything together. And I like to pull that out flush with that half bed so that's not... Right on the edge there. Yeah, kind of hanging out. This guy will fill in that additional space back here. And Velcro together. Just like that. Just like that. Perfect. Nice. Well, there it is, guys. <clears throat> We are going to be having a lot of adventures in this thing this year. You guys have probably seen in a lot of our videos, uh, whether it be out coyote hunting, helping uh, some of the friends guide on the strip, uh, out on the deer hunts, or just messing around with the family. We have reused the crap out of our jumping jack. And I got this one to match the Toyota so that I can take it everywhere that I take the Toyota. It's these kinds of things, guys, that really allow us to get out and have as much fun as we do and do what we do and try and put these videos together. Without the mobility and the ease of use of this stuff, we would not be able to do what we do. Just like most of you, we have full-time jobs, full-time families, full-time hobbies, plus all this stuff. So the speed of setup, teardown, and ease of getting places and getting out of places is huge for us. You could not ask for a better product with the Jumpin' Jack trailers for all of those things. I cannot freaking wait to 
get out and use this thing, man. Cannot freaking wait. It's going to be awesome. Pair this with the canvas cutter bed rolls, and you can go anywhere in about five minutes. It only takes us, me and Garrett, um, probably two minutes, maybe three minutes to set up the, the other one. It's going to take us a little bit of practice on this one, but uh, set up, tear down, less than five minutes. Okay, you ready for tear down? Yep, let's do the tear down. Well, on tear down, the table does go to the ground very first. It lays down flat, and then from there, that's where we're going to put all the beds right down into that floor space as well. Um, the way that I, I like to do it personally is the bed for this left side, if you're looking into the trailer, will go down first. And then I take this extension that fits into that empty space back there, and I flip it upside down because this pad and that one oh, just okay. equal out to, to fill up that space there, so it fits perfectly. Perfect. That's also going to give us a little um, empty space. Actually, even better if we turn this. The reason why that's going to give us a little bit of empty space back here for the hinge to come down for that flex rod so it's not going to be damaging anything. And then we have plenty of space out front where we can put the stool and other stuff like that. Then these other two shorter beds will stay on the side that they go on. And I turn this around just so it fits better and lay it down first, just right to the floor. And then you've got the um, half bed actually first, which is the one without the additional piece hooked to it. That'll go first, and then this one will go on top. Um, and same thing, I actually turn it around this direction, right like that, leaving some space in the front, leaving some space in the back. That's gonna help with everything that comes down. Now we're gonna undo all the straps from this point. You can remove the front gate and just set it aside. Now one trick on these 4x6s is you have all this extra material. You don't want it kind of just flopping out. You want to be able to fold it up as neatly as possible. So a trick with that is to tuck that in very first. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so you do that first. That's going to help once we get it down and, and start folding it up. The other trailers, typically you'll step inside. There's three steps on those other trailers where you fold the front in, slide a lock up to hold that um, vertically. Then you walk into the back and drop the back end, and then you drop the front. This one, if you do it correctly, is even easier. All you're gonna do, push the front all the way in, grab the bar, and then kind of do the opposite of what you did when you were setting it up. You're gonna bring it down, give it a swooping motion, the back end drops, and you bring the front down. Man, that is that. slick. Super simple. From that point, I like to straighten everything out. You do have your, your uh, back flap of canvas that covers the bag. You do want to always tuck that underneath first. That way you're not folding anything over top of the hinges. Okay. Definitely looks like you've done this a few times, huh? A few thousand, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Lay it all out as flat as possible, as neat as possible. This particular model, being so small with a very large tent, you cannot fit additional um, equipment inside, whereas our larger models you can. But there's always space up top where you can load any of your gear on top. Okay. I always go through and just check those hinges, make sure there's nothing wrapped around them. Um, that's going to keep everything in good shape. Once you get it to that point, just toss that bag over and zip it up. Actually, got a stool for you. Perfect. Okay, you guys went through some serious uh, tetrising probably to <laughs> to get all this stuff to stack perfectly in there, it's awesome. Yeah. As long as you kind of follow what I showed you on those beds, you'll be perfect. You've got the 4x6 
flap that will cover that zipper to protect that zipper and keep it away from the water. That way nothing is going to get into that tent. I've been really impressed with those zippers. I mean, we've had ours almost six years now, and every once in a while, right on the corner, it'll stick when you get real dusty. But other than that, I've never had an issue with the zipper. It's awesome. Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. So the tailgate and pins and everything's the same, just like yep. uh, the other ones. Just like the other ones. Perfect. One thing I did not show you. Due to that half bed being so big on the interior, oh, okay. bed, when you open this up, there is a hole here that you use oh, with okay. your tailgate pan. Gotcha. That locks in, and what that's going to do is keep that wing from wanting to wanting pull, to pull over up. when you sit on that and put weight on that. Oh, okay, I got you. Man, I'm so freaking excited. Get ready to hook it up. That's another nice thing about these things, man. You just pick them up and wheel them around. 